guys, it's Lee, and I am back today with another Dollar Tree haul for you. I took off a couple of weeks, enjoyed some time off, but I also missed doing this, which is what I was hoping would happen. And even though I'm back, I don't know that it's going to be exactly the same as it was before. I do have a pretty big Dollar Tree haul for you today, though, because I went to like four stores and I hadn't been in the Dollar Tree for a while. So I was like super excited about some stuff that I found. I also haven't really been watching YouTube for the last two weeks. I mean, I took an actual break. So I'm not even 100% sure what's out there, what other people are finding. I will try to catch up a bit if I can and see what everybody else is finding. All right, so let me get into it. So if you could all do me a big favor and go right below this video and hit that like button, I would really appreciate it. And if you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and a little bell, and that way you'll get notified when I do upload new videos. Okay, so let's get into the goodies I found this time around. I found some more of these vegan minute rice. Well, it doesn't say rice, but it's Southwest Pinto beans with white, white rice and vegetables. They're these little cups. You microwave them in 90 seconds. I found them before. No one's eaten them yet. I only found two last time. Um, but I know this is the kind of thing my son and husband will enjoy. Um, so I just picked up four more of these. If you've been here before, you probably noticed that I'm back to the kitchen counter. That's just because I have something going on in the dining room. I know a lot of you prefer the kitchen, but I prefer doing the videos on the dining room table. We'll see how it goes. Maybe a little of each. Picked up a couple of packets of coffee. This is the breakfast blend. And this is the French vanilla. I believe they also have hazelnut, but I thought these are the two my son would prefer. My husband uses a low acid coffee for the Keurig, but my son kind of likes using the coffee pot and those are cheap. Picked up one box of the Swiss Miss with marshmallows. In my last haul, which was a couple of weeks ago, I hauled the little Santas that you put in your hot chocolate and they melt. So I thought I would send those along with a few of these over to my daughter in a little Christmas box. The Halloween package I sent her a week and a half before Halloween, I just found out, I just got a tracking notification that it is currently in Atlanta. It is taking forever to get to her. So I told her she can have Halloween for Thanksgiving probably at the rate this is going. And next I grabbed two packages of these crispy onions, lightly salted, non-GMO, bold flavor. And I know I would have checked this before. They're a product of Holland. So I got two of these. I'm not sure what we're doing for Thanksgiving. It might just be the three of us. I don't know if my oldest is coming. Um, so it's gonna be a very tiny Thanksgiving, but I know the guys will still want some green bean casserole, so I have those crispy onions for that. Next, I found these clear removable hooks, and these hold two pounds, and you get three in the pack. I picked up one of those, and then one of these. They also say, oh no, these hold three pounds, and you get two in the pack. And then I picked up two of these uh, that hold one pound, and you get four in the pack. So I got the clear ones because last time I picked up the wood grain ones, which are really nice. I like them. But the problem with the wood grain ones, which I, and I didn't really think about it till I stuck it on the wall, is that this glue stuff down here is white. So they're stuck on my cabinet. If I remember, I'll post a picture. And then you can see the white uh, gluey stuff, which is a fail if you ask me. So I picked up these and I think I'm gonna remove the wooden ones and just put the clear ones up instead. Picked up a couple of these floodlight bulbs. I think I heard my husband say the other day that we need some smaller floodlights. I think that's what he said. Anyway, I picked these up because we can definitely use them somewhere. Here in the kitchen we have the floodlights but they have to be dimmable. But in the basement, don't think they're dimmable. One side is and one isn't, so he'll be able to use those down there. 
One side of the room, I mean. I found the Scrub Buddies three packs instead of two. These are the quick erasers, like magic erasers. And whenever I see them in the three packs, I pick up a few. So I got three of those. I picked up a lint roller. It comes with a bonus baby, baby lint roller. So the big one has 45 sheets and the little one has 25. We have what seems like a thousand animals in our house. So these always come in handy, especially if you're wearing something dark. Those are definitely a necessity in our house. I just grabbed two more of these personal care antibacterial wet wipes in refreshing the waterfall. These are my favorite. I leave them in my car just to wipe my hands after I go in a store and I just like them. So I grabbed two more. Did I need them? Probably not, but I'm a little stocked up now in case things go crazy again and you can't find wipes. I'm running low on cat treats, which is not acceptable. <laughs> anyway, she only gets two little treats a day, but sometimes the dogs eat them and I have to give her enough, you know how it goes. So I picked up these meow mix with real tuna and salmon. I'm old, I can't read that. Uh, they say ocean explosion, tartar control. And then I picked up the, I did it again. I got the soft ones. It's fine. Nom nom yum. <laughs> Nine lives, soft treats in ocean medley flavor. Lucy, Lou, Lou, <laughs> like those. Next, I found some car air, fresh, air fresheners that were new to me. Well, I don't think this one's new. The California Scents, Cool Scents, Coronado Cherry. This will not be going in my car because the smell of cherry kind of makes them gag a little bit. But I thought it was interesting and I thought one of the guys might like it. Not for my car though. Ugh. Then I found these Driven by Refresh and they are in blackout and it spins on your vent. So I got two of these and I'm gonna put one in my husband's car and then have a backup if they work well. We'll have two of them. And then for my car, I found these Bahama and Company uh, Aruba Blue Breeze. They're like lays, you hang. I don't know if I'll hang it from the rear view mirror, but I thought they were cool and I hope they smell nice. I got two of them. If you've tried them, let me know how they work. Next, I grabbed a couple pairs of Snuggadoos because I just like the colors. So these are green and then there's a green and white stripe in them and then there's this one with the gray green and white I'm gonna send one to my daughter in her Christmas package if you don't know if you're new here uh, my daughter's in Ireland going to vet school next I picked up this little notebook I just think it's cool looking it has the elastic band to hold it closed and it just opens like this thought it was really cool so I picked up one. So next I have just a few Christmas items, not many. I picked up these Russell Stover's Santa's Wonderland Itty Bitties. I got way too many of these last year, but I picked up two. There are 60 of them in the package. I don't know why I said it like that. And these are also going to my daughter for Christmas because it's gonna be hard. I'm gonna buy her a Christmas present on amazon.co.uk. Uh, she has Prime through them because they deliver to Ireland and I'll order her something there that she needs and send it to her. But I wanted to send her something fun too. So I'm going to make up a little package of just fun stuff for her to open. I know it's expensive to send it, but it just makes her day and it makes her so happy when she gets even like a postcard from me or her friends. It brightens her day. So she's worth it. I'm going to put together a Christmas package and send it to her. I probably should get on that like this week or next week because it sometimes takes forever. Next, I found these little containers, buckets. They're calling them buckets. It says Merry Christmas. It looks like a sleigh. I don't know what I'm going to use these for, but I thought they were adorable. So I picked them up. Um, they probably probably would be great for gift baskets, you know, to put all the stuff in and then wrap it and it would be adorable with a bow on it. It'd be so pretty. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I went ahead and grabbed two 
Because what will happen is, like everybody who shops at the Dollar Tree knows, you go, oh right, I know what I can do with that. And you go back and it's gone. So I went ahead and picked up two of these. Next, I grabbed two of these red solar lights. They look like the old timey Christmas bulbs. And I picked up two in red, it's stuck on my finger, and two in green. I'm gonna put them on our lights out in the front. I just think they're really pretty. So they also came in yellow and blue, I think. I think yellow and blue. I got some ornament hooks, just because I don't know if I need them, but. And then I found these chocolate stirring spoons. Last year they had the mint ones that tasted horrible. Actually, they had them this year too. I didn't buy any. Uh, I don't know if they taste any better, but it wasn't worth it. I'm not gonna, I don't care. And but I thought these would be really cute. One pack, of course, is going to my daughter for her hot chocolate. Actually, now that I think about this, I probably will send her hot chocolate through Amazon. I also missed these in the food section. These are sodium-free imperial nuts. This is unsalted peanuts, dried cranberries, unsalted cashews, almonds, and walnuts. These are for my husband. And it said they come from USA, Argentina, Mexico, Vietnam, Brazil, India, and Indonesia. And it is a two and a half ounce pack. I also picked up the Energy Blend. If Can you tell I found a bag I forgot about? These are honey roasted peanuts, honey roasted sesame sticks, almonds, walnuts, and pecans. And these are USA, Argentina, and Mexico. Um, also, two, oh, those are two and two thirds of an ounce. And then I got the Power Blend, which is salted walnuts, salted shelled pistachios, salted peanuts, salted filberts and salted almonds two and three quarters ounces and these are u.s mexico argentina and turkey so i got those and a bag of lentils which are a product of all right i don't know where they're a product of if anybody has these and knows let me know I thought I looked at them, but I guess I did not. It just says where it's distributed by. I don't see where they're from. Yeah, that's, that's disappointing. Oh well, I have the lentils. And that's a pound of lentils. Next, I got a few novelty pens. I found this stuffed kitty cat face pen by the register, which I thought was so cute. And this was the other one that looks like Lucy when she's looking at me. I mean, she's not a gray tabby, but the eyes, she doesn't like me. I don't know why I love her. <laughs> Maybe it's because I love her too much. And then I bought three more of these jeweled pens because I love them. I love the way they write. I love the way they feel when you're writing, so I grabbed three more. Next, I got this incense burner. It's an elephant. You can see the hole for the incense right in there, incense, 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 however you say it. Um, I just thought it was really cute. There were two other ones. I have a picture of those that I will put in a video at some point. Maybe this one, maybe not. I'm not sure yet. I got this magnetic planner that got kind of squished, but hopefully it'll straighten up. I'm planning, or I'm trying. I have a really hard time doing this, but I'm trying to meal plan. But honestly, it's pretty overwhelming for me for some reason. Um, but I'm going to try, try, uh, so that, you know, we have a lot of food in this house. And yet I still never know what to cook. So I need to... Go through, here's the thing, I need to make myself go through all the food and then come up with ideas from the food we have. But yeah, I don't know why I have such a uh, mental block with that. But I picked this up so I can write it down in case I ever get myself in gear. Next I found these My Little Pony blind boxes. They are the Cutie Mark Crew Friendship Party. I got two of them. 
Um, these are series two and it says collect all 24. So I picked up two of those and two of these Puppy Friends Club Dog's House. They don't have a Chihuahua or a Greyhound on here, of course. They have a Welsh Corgi Shih Tzu, Border Collie, what is that? Pitbull, Rottweiler, oh, we have friends with a Rottweiler. Dachshund, Schnauzer, and a Beagle. My parents bred Beagles when I was little. So I picked up two of these. I thought these would make cute little gifts. I also forgot these. In the household section, I picked up some of the E-Circuit Alkaline Button Cell batteries. These are LR44s. We do have some stuff around here that will use these. Uh, so I thought I'd grab them while it was in there. And I picked up one each, one more each, <laughs> of the CR2016 and the CR2032. I went ahead and picked them up because they're two for a dollar instead of Walmart at the jewelry counter wanted me to pay six do a piece of dog hair on me six dollars a piece five ninety seven a piece for these batteries I was like yeah no thank you so if you have them at your Dollar Tree grab them next I found some more fabric I picked up one of each of these and people ask me what I use it for. Sometimes I use it for masks. Sometimes I just save it in case there's a project because I really like the print on the fabric. And sometimes I give it to other people to make masks and what have you. So the first piece of fabric I picked up, let's see if it's showing up on here, has like these um, bursts, like sunbursts. I don't know what you call them. And I don't know if... You can see, I can't tell on the little viewfinder if you can even see them, but it is really cute and I picked up, hang on, let me get it. This fabric online to make a couple of masks for my daughter uh, because that looks just like her Greyhound. So I got this online. It was pricey too, but I thought I would grab that and then I could use this as the backing. And then I thought this one was super pretty. It looks similar to one I have. I don't know if I already have it or not, but it was really pretty. I love the little flowers. And then I picked up this one with the campers. It's so hard to tell. Oh, there, you can see it a little better. Whoops, might help if I put it in the frame. Little campers on it and there's luggage. And I thought it was so cute. So I grabbed one of those. And then this one with the foxes, and there was a squirrel, I think. Oh, there's a little porcupine or head. Why do I keep doing that? There's a little critter. I thought I saw a squirrel on this. Maybe not. It's cute either way. So I picked up one of those as well. And then I was super excited that two of my stores, local stores, had the face masks. I hadn't seen these. Well, I saw the children's face masks a while back and I gave those to my friend. Um, but I found these face masks. I got, I didn't pick up one of each design because we didn't really need them. So I got this gingham print in blue. I got the constellation print. It's black with constellations. I got just a solid gray one. These are actually just going in the cars, these three, because anybody could use them. And then I picked these up for myself. I got this polka dot, it's a pinky polka dot. It's In this lighting, it looks a little orange pink, but in the store it looked more pink, so I don't know. I picked up this one. And then I found at another store, so I got this one with the leaves or feathers, whatever you wanna call them. On it and I got this one with the daisies these two are going in my car well these three I'm probably gonna put them all in my car to be honest with you and then if someone needs a mask they've got one and then lastly I have some books to share this isn't really a book but it was in the book section and it says RJ Palacio wonder notes I don't know if, what that is. Is that a thing? I don't know. It's 400 sheets with 24 designs. 
So I grabbed two of them and I went ahead and opened one so you could see each design says wonder. That says choose kind. I'm not going to show you all 24 but I thought it was cool and everybody can use whoops I keep opening to the same spot a notepad right? So I got two of these. I don't remember which store these were in either to be honest with you. Then I found this adorable baby book that I'm going to save for when somebody has a baby. Our nephew and his wife just had twin boys, but they only had one of these, or I probably would have gotten both of them and gotten two, I mean, and sent them to her, but they only had one. Um, so I'll save it for the next baby. My husband is one of nine, and all of the uh, nieces and nephews are adults. My kids are the youngest, and my youngest is 25 so there'll be more babies coming anyway I thought it was so cute and then it has a pocket with some stickers in the back isn't that adorable uh, this was 1995 in the US I think it is so cute and I love the little owls on the front next I found this cookbook called good food for life planning preparing and sharing by Maggie Davis I don't know how much it costs. I don't know. But I thought it was cool. It's got lots of ideas. And yeah, it's probably good for me. Oh, look, it had nutrition facts. It's nutrition facts as well. Um, since I'm trying, <laughs> trying to get better at planning meals. And then lastly, I got this book called Eat What You Love Every Day. It's 200 all new great tasting recipes, low in sugar, fat, and calories. This, again, I don't know how much it was. It looks pretty pricey. It's wrapped in plastic. Uh, my husband was recently diagnosed as a diabetic, so I think that this book will come in handy for us. All right, so that is everything I picked up this time around. I do have some pictures, but I think I will wait and put those in another video because I feel like this one's gonna be long enough. So yeah, I'll wait and put those in a different video. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, I would really appreciate it if you'd hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. I also want to thank everyone for their super kind comments when I said I was backing away for a while. I really did need a break, but I'm feeling much better about YouTube now and not so much about social media as a whole. Um, getting rid of Twitter, kind of bouncing around the idea of ditching Facebook. It's just that I was like on these social media platforms way too much and you know, it's just, I don't think that's healthy, but we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, you can also find me over on Instagram and Pinterest, Facebook possibly, but not Twitter. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.